But we are staying in, in Jones Edition's first warehouse space. We are so excited to have space to be able to store all of our stuff. Our inventory is growing. We have six flea markets now. I have an eBay store getting close to 300 listings. It's just crazy to try to have that much inventory all the time at, in our garage, in our sheds, in our trailer. And it just kind of piles up and just kind of gets in the way. We lose stuff. We don't know what we have and it's not organized. My bin system for my eBay store is a complete mess right now, which I hate because if I need to sell something, I have to go dig, at, dig it out, whatever. So let me show you around. I'm excited to show you what we got here. Let me start from the outside and go from there. Right around the corner here, there's two buildings here. Second Street in Columbus is right here, and it turns into uh, State Street, which is a main road if you're not from this area. It's pretty uh, main thoroughfare, so we're kind of right in the middle of the uh, downtown. There's a courthouse right there. You can kind of see the tower over the hill. So we're kind of right in the middle of town. Columbus is very, very, very expensive to rent commercial space, to rent residential space. We kind of have a connection through the, the owner of this building. Our church used to be in this building right here. Um, there's another church in it now. Uh, since we bought ours, they kind of redone this building. Uh, this is a flower shop. So we know the owner of this building. Um, and we reached out to him and said, hey, you know, do you have any space? And he said, I got some space that you guys might be able to use. You guys want to check it out? So this is actually the first space we looked at. Uh, we couldn't really pass up the deal. And uh, we just told him that, yes. A couple weeks after you know the deadline or whatever he was able to get the space cleared out and uh, we're able to move in starting today and stuff like that so let me show you around so this is kind of like the entrance space here we, we uh this should be able to fit our enclosed trailer in here it's a pretty pretty big door my truck fits in it so the trailer should fit in it as well but we have all this space here this is kind of like the like the garage area of the space so there's shelves all up here i'm not sure what we can really do with all this stuff here really the bins that we have won't be able to fit in this i don't know we'll, we'll see what we can do with that so we have all this space here this is where our trailer will probably be parked right here for the majority of the time this space over here there's a local painting company that rents the space out i don't know they come here every once in a while so we'll see how often they come in here. They shouldn't be a big deal, and not, not in our way. We shouldn't be in their way. But all this space here is uh, is our space that we get to use. So this, all this right here is ours, and all this area over here is ours. There is some stuff that he uses um, for like Christmas time for like a local business, and he um, stores his Christmas stuff in here. We might kind of reorganize this for him. And kind of keep everything back he left all these dressers and they're or not dressers really all these desks he left all these here he said he couldn't really sell them and he wants to give them to us he said he uh, had a hard time selling them but this is really really nice to be able to sell these chairs and everything i might keep one of these chairs and then we have this like a uh, foyer table here he said this glass right here on this this dresser here was $200. But he, he said I could have use of the shelves over here if I wanted to. So this would be uh, maybe really good for the eBay, the eBay bins and stuff like that. I might move these shelves over. I might try to put them on this wall over here. I don't know, I'm excited. I asked him, I said, uh, do you mind if I bring in like some carpet just to lay on the ground, not glue it to the ground, but like bring in carpet and stuff like that to I can have some areas to display like furniture and stuff like that and he said oh well, I, might have, I might have some uh, carpet you can borrow or have or whatever so that's even better he might have some carpet that i don't have to buy i'm thinking about turning this corner i'm going to clean it up mop it up vacuum get it all clean and then uh, if there's plugs yeah there's plugs right here if there's plugs and everything i'm going to maybe build like a little entertainment center over here for the kids uh, have some carpet, some bean bags, some TVs, and I'm gonna probably put a desk and uh, maybe some kind of some kind of table over here and have my computer set up and stuff like that. And then uh, I don't know, we'll see. So this is really really exciting for us. We're, you know, it's something that we really really need right now to be able to maybe move forward with our business. It is gonna be a little bit of an expense, and um, I just thought there's bathrooms here and everything for the kids. It's even it's even better. Like we can come over here and spend a good bit of time if we had to but it's going to be a little bit of an expense and we're ready to afford that and, and move move forward with this business 
it's just we won't be able to really scale our business working out of the garage and sheds and stuff like that, what we've been doing um, it's possible if I had more expensive items on my eBay store but we're kind of working in the 10 to 15 dollar profit range right now maybe and sometimes less so it takes lots of lots of items to sell so it'd be nice to have some room here to grow my plan is to come over here every morning about five in the morning come over here kick the lights on and uh, start packing packaging up all the stuff I sold from the day before for eBay and then uh, we're really really close to the post office so I'll have this stuff packaged I'll probably list some items while I'm here and then take everything over to the post office and then drop it off and go home before um, the kids wake up and stuff like that so I'm really excited about getting a system down having a, almost like an office space to get away from the house kind of make work work and then uh, really kind of try to grow this eBay store and have space to store all of our flea market stuff. We'll get used to seeing this building because you're gonna see a lot in our videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the space, give a thumbs up. Tell me what you like about the building. I'm excited to see what you guys think about it. Um, we're excited to have it and uh, hopefully you guys see this, start, this place start filling up. So um, stay tuned guys. We're excited to have you guys along for the journey for Jones Edition and the future of this business. Thanks.